So in the example in the video, you saw a single sprint over 60 meters, which was done in that case on a sprint treadmill. Now with the aim of the test, what happens at the end is you take a blood lactate. So in, in, you do the first sprint maximally. Now, according to the method, following a recovery, the athlete then repeats the 60 meter sprint, but this time half a second slower. Again, a lactate is taken, a recovery is introduced, and we then do a third sprint, again, half a second slower. So in the graph that you can see here, it's that process being repeated, but you can see it over three periods of time. Just focus on any one of those three colored lines. The important variable is according to the, the, this paper, this, this, this model, is that the alactic capacity can be estimated at a fixed blood lactate concentration of six millimoles. So the black line, horizontal line, shows us a six millimole concentration, and for any given speed on any of those, in essence, curves, we can identify what has been considered to be the alactic capacity.